What's up, Steelers Nation? Long time no talk to. We are two games into the season, and we are sitting at a beautiful 2-0, and one of five teams that are still 2-0 and in the NFL with wins over the Atlanta Falcons away, and we beat the Denver Broncos away. Um, I want to come here and talk to you just to check the temperature of all the Steelers fans across the nation. Um, I got my Super Bowl Steelers shirt on from 2000 and. Five. Yep, there it is. Um, and I just want to say, currently I am happy with the direction the Steelers are in. Yes, we need to score more touchdowns. We've thrown one total touchdown in two games, which was to Darnell Washington, who I'm glad to see get his first touchdown in the NFL. But that is nor here nor there. Um, I have been enjoying Justin Fields as our starting quarterback and thinks he should keep the job full time. Because what he's doing with the team is currently working. Um, I know a lot of people are still eyeing a wide receiver two trade, which could help a lot. It could help a lot. We have been laying heavy on Pat and on George Pickens this far into the season, and that can only go more going forward. So a wide receiver two trade wouldn't be bad. Guy like Marvin Mims. There's a lot of guys around, across the league that we could target going forward to um, boast up our offense and make it a lot easier on Justin Fields, Arthur Smith, and the rest of the guys. I want to say the offensive line has been very productive. Definitely with Troy Fatanu with his first start on Sunday. He performed very well. Um, the defense has been good. TJ is an animal. He got a sack while using the force. Like he was Obi-Wan Kenobi or Darth Vader or a Sith or something. Um Deshaun Elliott has looked good. Dante Jackson has looked good. Everybody has looked up to their part, and I'm I'm very proud of them. Um, we have looked a lot lack, lackadaisical and lackluster in the fourth quarter post-second half. Seems like we kind of dialed the speed back a lot when we should be trying to use this offense and defense to become more fluid going forward because the, the season only gets harder the farther we go on because this Sunday – we do have the Los Angeles Chargers, who I want to say I'm not terribly scared of, but could easily be a sleeper game to where we could mess around and lose. As Steelers, we know that is definitely liable, something that happens um, every year we fall into sleeper games. So, week one, we played the Falcons. We won 18-10 to 10 behind an absolutely Amazing game from T.J. Watt, who was getting after um, Kirk Cousins. Had a sneeze, bless me. Um, so Justin Fields went 17 for 23 for 156 yards, 20 carries for 70 yards for Najee, six receptions for 85 yards for George Pickens. Um, we got 27 yards from Pat, 13 from Jalen. Nine from Najee, seven from Calvin Austin, and five from uh, Darnell Washington, and one from Von Jefferson. Um, we had one sack from TJ, should have been two. One from Montavious Adams. We had an interception from Deshaun Elliott. One from Dante Jackson, he should have had two. We won't hold him on that other one. We did see Cameron Johnson go down with an injury for the remainder of the year, which we ended up picking a guy who was booming the ball down the field um, against the Broncos. Chris Boswell went 6-for-6 six six as long as field goal was 57 yards. Um, this game was good, man. This game was really good against the Falcons. Um, we had Kurt Cousins and the boys in a torture rack and a straight jacket, whatever you want to call it. They were in a Snuggie. Uh, we looked really good. We had Kurt Cousins making rookie mistakes, costly mistakes, time and time and time again. Um Good opening game to the season. Good opening win. And then we go to the Broncos game. We look at the player stats. Justin Fields, 13 for 20. 117 yards, one touchdown. Najee, 17 carries, 69 yards. Jalen Warren, 9 carries, 42 yards. Justin Fields, 8 for 27. Cordell Patterson, 2 for 3. And on the receiving side, wasn't as big. We had four receptions, 39 yards from Pat Fryermuth, two for 29 for George Pickens. He could have had more, but Broderick Jones cost us with that costly holding penalty. Um, two for 19 for Jalen, two for 14 for Von Jefferson, one for six for uh, Calvin Austin, one for five for Najee, one for five for Darnell Washington. 
and our sacks were Alex Smith had one, TJ Watt had one, and we had two interceptions, one for DeMonte Casey, and Corey Trice got his first in the back of the end zone. We had um, what I like to call him pick six Knicks or overthrown bow and a snuggie this game too. They started to turn it up a little bit near the end. Josh Windows was start getting a lot of really big catches and for a lot of big yards. But uh, it was a little too late at that point in the game. I do want to see a little bit more um, – Offense, more passing. We need to get Nashi going. The, our new uh, punter's name is Corliss White, uh, Waitman, who has played for the Steelers in the past. Chris Boswell went two for two. His longest was 53 yards. Um, we had a punt return. Punt returns uh, five for 27 yards, and kick returns one for 13 yards from Jalen Warren and Kelvin Austin. Um, yeah, this team, is, we're, we're looking good. We do go into... It's a home game against the Chargers. Yeah, home game against the Chargers, who are also 2-0. and And they have a defense that could really cause some trouble for Justin Fields. You know, they got guys like Joey Bosa, Khalil Mack, and Derwin James over there. Um, this will be a good matchup for both teams, for the Chargers and for the Steelers, to see what they're really made of. Allergies are kicking my ass. Um, they go, they're going to run the ball a lot. Um, J.K. Dobbins has been running really well going into this year so far. Um, if we look at predictions, the Arizona Republic has Steelers 19, Chargers 16. Um, Steelers have a 50 percent point seven chance to beat Chargers on Sunday. Dimers have Steelers twenty two Chargers twenty. But th- this game can really show a lot for us if we go and we look at the NFL standings. Um we're at the head of the AFC North with two wins. The Browns are one and one the Bengals and the Ravens are both 0 two which we love to see the Ravens 0 two because you know we hate those dirty birds. Um if we look at, I don't want all news. I want uh, Pittsburgh Steeler news. We worked out three players on Tuesday. Let's see what players we worked out. That guy looks familiar. Um, no, we do not want to see that. We worked out C.J. Henderson, Henderson, um, Deshaun Jameson, who's signed, and Quindell Johnson. Um, Henderson is far from being a top 10 draft pick, selected ninth overall 2020 draft by the Jaguars. His career has became has quickly gone south. He has failed to last even two full seasons with the Jaguars, straight to the Carolina Panthers four weeks into his sophomore season. Um, he allowed five touchdowns. Oh, so he's a defensive guy. I mean... We could really benefit from look eyeing a wide receiver. You know, um, we added Ben Skorek to the 53-man roster off of the practice squad. Um, Broder Jones dropped to second team for Steelers after a strong debut for uh, Troy Fatana. Yeah. Steelers Panthers trade to give reliable veteran to Justin Fields. Who is that? Um, so Bryce, uh, Bryce Young got bench, which is hilarious. Oh, Adam Thielen. I don't know if I want Adam Thielen. I mean, he's a very serviceable vet. But we have a lot of very serviceable vets. I, I mean, I wouldn't hate it, but it's definitely not the ideal trade to help us get over the hump or even better going into the years, into the year. Um, so going forward, we have the Chargers, then the Colts, Cowboys, Raiders, Jets, Giants, Command- uh, Commanders, Ravens, Browns, Bengals, Browns, Eagles, Ravens, Chiefs, Bengals. So, when is our bye week? This doesn't show bye week. 
Chargers, we could win. I think we could beat the Colts because they just lost to the Packers without Jordan Love. The Cowboys just lost to the Saints with Alvin Kamara with four touchdowns. I think we could beat the Raiders. Nothing about the Jets um, scares me, so I think we could beat them. I think we could beat the Giants. I think we could beat the Commanders. The Ravens haven't been what they have been in recent years, so I'm not really scared of them going forward. Same with the Browns and the Bengals. The Eagles just lost to the Falcons, who we beat the Falcons. Does that mean we're beat better than the Eagles? I mean, logic. Um, and then the Chiefs, yeah, I mean, it's the Chiefs, but they just struggled against the Bengals, and Isaiah Pacheco's out for the next, like, four weeks. Um, so that's, that's what we could, what we look forward to going into the rest of this year. Um, I, I mean, honestly, I think we could finish with at minimum 10 wins, honestly. If we can start getting more touchdowns and getting the ball moving up and down the field and the defense stays where it's at and everyone remains healthy, 10 wins minimum isn't too far fetch. Um, 12 wins max with a secure place in the playoffs but we do have to understand that everybody in the division might start bolstering back up we can expect that from the ravens um we don't know what's going on with the browns if they're going to keep Deshaun watson as a starting quarterback the Bengals haven't looked great and jamar chase uh, still hasn't signed joe burrow is looking very lackluster so like the opportunity for us to get into the playoffs this year doesn't seem too far-fetched you know um, us, the Texans, the Chargers, the Bills, and the Seahawks, and the Vikings, and the Saints are the only 2-0 and teams still left. And, I mean, our schedule is only really rough on that second half. Once we get to that first game against the Ravens, it's all division. Then we got Eagles and the Chiefs. Like, December's going to be rough. Rough, rough, rough. Um, but I feel like we can go... And all, honestly, there's a chance that we might be three, four, five, six, seven, eight and one going into that game against the Ravens. I think we could lose to the Cowboys. Uh, we could, I mean, we could uh, legitimately and easily lose to any of these teams in a trap game, whether it be the Chargers, the Colts, the Raiders, the Jets, or the Commanders. Because you know, the Commanders, last time we played them, they beat us and ruined our amazing uh, win streak that we was on. But. I mean, honestly, we could go eight and one, nine and one going into that. I mean, nine and zero going into that game against the Ravens. It's not too far fetched. It's definitely possible if we get all our keep all our ducks in a row. I think Justin Fields should continue to be the starter going forward. Um, Russell Wilson, that injury just really cost him that right to that starting job going forward. Unless Justin Fields just so happens to just start shitting the bed and laying goose eggs, um, play after play. He misses some. He throws some bad passes and misses some open receivers. But a hey, second game going into the season with a new team, new offense coordinator, new players all around him. It's it's going to happen. I think the further we get into the season, the more locked in and more efficient he will be going forward. This Steelers team is probably the best team he's played with in the NFL because you know the Bears never wanted to surround him with any um, legit pieces. And it's just as simple as that. Yes, we haven't really played any legit caliber teams so far, but you could say that about the Falcons. They brought in a lot of huge pieces um, on defense and Kirk Cousins on offense to really bolster up that team and give them the driving push forward. And you see how that worked out for them against the Philadelphia Eagles. The Broncos, not as much. Bo Nix is a rookie. Um, Sean Payton in that offense and that team as a whole last year didn't show a whole lot. Um, even with Russell Wilson... Chargers new team they don't have any offensive weapons really um J.K. Dobbins has been running the ball efficiently um their defense is still the defense that we all know it is uh the Colts Anthony Richardson second year and things that go with that Jonathan Taylor the Cowboys they just paid Dak CD got paid um but the run game is really lackluster with Ezekiel Elliott and uh, Rico Dowdle the Raiders I think I mean hey the Raiders, let's see, let's check the Raiders' um, schedule. Um, so the Raiders play the Panthers, which they should win. Then they Browns, the Broncos. So they got a, three easy games here uh, that they could win. But if they don't win these, I mean, hey, a trade for um, um, Devontae Adams to the Steelers would not be, I would not be against it. Would not be against it at all. 
Um, but we're, we we beat the Raiders every time we play them. The Jets and Rodgers and that team has not looked good at all. The Giants, I mean, it's Daniel Jones. They're, they're ass. The Commanders, as much as I love Jaden Daniels and everything about this Commanders team, I think they we can beat them. And then we go November 17th against the Ravens, which is the beginning of the rest of the hell that we shall face. Um, but that's just my thoughts of this Pittsburgh Steelers team as we sit right now 2-0 and with two big wins against the Ra- um, against the Broncos and the Falcons. Um, let me know what you think about our Pittsburgh Steelers going forward, what you would like to see. Should we make a trade for another receiver to help take off some of the load from George Pickens? I would like to see some more like RPOs and jet sweeps for that super speedy guy we have in Calvin Austin. I'd like to see Cordell Patterson get mixed in a little bit more and some trick plays. Um, I mean, we, th- we have all the weapons and the tools to be a very good football team going forward. Arthur Smith just has to unlock his bag like he did with uh, Ryan Tannehill back in those days when he was the offensive coordinator for the Tennessee Titans. And then I think we have a high chance at 12 wins and going 8-1 to start the season, 9-0 and if we can beat the Cowboys, which I think we have a chance because they're not showing us anything crazy with losing how they did to the Saints. But that has been my Pittsburgh Steelers talk. If you like this, stick around. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on bell notifications. I'll be back after this week we have against the Chargers, and we will talk going forward. Until next time, peace.